For this episode, I'm doing something very unusual by reviewing 1962's La Jete, in that this film by Chris Marker is a short, and it's almost entirely told by still photographs edited to a soundscape and voiceover. It's less than a half hour long, but packs an incredible amount of story into it, as evidenced by the fact that it was later remade as Terry Gilliam's feature, Twelve Monkeys. The short takes place in the near future, in what was once Paris. The world has been destroyed in a nuclear war, and humanity is on its last legs. Somehow the surviving government has devised a kind of time travel and sends a prisoner back in time to just before the war started to see if it's possible to save any of the survivors from certain death. Not only that, but he is projected into one of his own childhood memories, meaning a woman whose happy face he had remembered all of his life as the world fell apart around him. Along the way, the pair fall in love in a way that is perfectly in and of the moment. Perfectly appropriate when one of them knows that it is doomed to a tragic end. From what I can tell, the photography being comprised of still photos was for budgetary reasons, but the device was very cleverly used. With the entire premise being built around memories, this gives the effect of perusing a sort of virtual photo album for the main character. It also encourages the viewer to try to interpret what is really happening, arguably a must for most experimental films. Even if one takes the premise at face value, the story holds up just fine. But there is an argument to be made that the man never does actually go anywhere, and the entire thing is some kind of sadistic form of hallucinatory torture. The whole procedure is basically portrayed like a Nazi experiment, and it would explain how a post-apocalyptic society would have supposedly developed an ability to beam a person back in time. Furthermore, given that the focal point of the regression is the last happy memory that the man had, perhaps the film is meant to be a fantastic and somewhat cynical take on hypnosis therapy. In any event, La Chate is a very intriguing work. It's very thoughtful, beautifully shot and acted, and despite the unusual format, is suspenseful, disturbing, and beautiful throughout its short runtime. I would go so far as to say that this should be mandatory viewing for micro-budget and short filmmakers to demonstrate what can be done despite what must be called insane logistical limitations. Definitely seek this out.